Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, much of President Donald Trump's conflict with Meghan, Meghan McCain lately centers on his continued disparagement of her dad, the late St. John McCain, and he's gone after her too. Ben, back in September 2015, while he was running for president, he took aim at her after she appeared for his favorite network, Fox News, and Meghan McCain was terrible on at the five yesterday. Angry at and obnoxious, she will never make it on TV, at Fox News, can do so much better, Trump tweeted. On a February 2018 ep episode of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, Megan talked about why she thought the president continued to target her father in the press. I have this theory which I have nothing to back it up other than just guessing that when my dad walks into a room, I mean he's a badass, he's a war hero, people are naturally intimidated by him and I think he evokes a reaction where people just respect him, Megan explained. And I think that's what Trump wants when he goes into every room, she continued. He wants to be the guy that's like, I'm the guy that's going to run in when there's a shooting, I'm a hard ass, I'm whatever, but if you have to say that, then you may be not as tough as you think you are. Megan delivered an emotional eulogy for her father on September 1, 2018, a few days after he died from brain cancer on August 24, 2018. She reflected on her dad's legacy and decried the op opportunistic approve appropriation of those who love lives of comfort of comfort and privilege while he suffered and served. We gather here to mourn the passing of American greatness, the real thing, not cheap rhetoric from men who will never come near the sacrifice he gave, who so willingly nor the opportunistic appro appropriation of those who live lives of, comf of comfort and privilege while he suffered and served. Megan began. He was a great fire who burnt bright. A few have resented that fire for the light it has cast upon them for the truth it revealed about their character. But my father never cared what they thought, she added, and even that small number still have the opportunity as long as they draw breath to live up to the example of John McCain. After a Wall Street Journal report followed by the other articles showed that someone in the White House wanted to make sure a warship named the Sen, McCain's family was kept out of sight of Trump's during a May trip to a Japanese naval base his daughter spoke out on Twitter. Trump is a child who will always be deeply threatened by the greatness of my dad's incredible life, she wrote. There is a lot of criticism of how much I speak about my dad, but nine months since he passed, Trump won't let him rest in peace. So I have to stand up for him. Meghan felt compelled to continue to defend her father publicly because Trump would not stop attacking him. He also praised the official behind the effort to hide the McCain ship, but said he had no knowledge of it. It makes my grief unbearable, Megan tweeted. During a March episode of The View, the co-host dis discussed Trump's repeated attacks on the senator who had been a political rival in life but by then had already been dead for several months. Tre Trump spends his weekend obsessing over great men because he knows it and I know it and all of you know it. He will never be a great man. Megan said, after sitting quietly for the first part of the conversation, my father was his crypto uh, kryptonite in life. He is his kryptonite in death. All of us have love and families and when my father was alive up until adulthood, we would, we would spend our, our time together cooking, hiking, fishing, really celebrating life and I think it's because he almost died. She said referring to her dad's time as a prisoner of war. She added, and I, and I just thought your life is spent on weekends, not with your family, not with your friends, but obsessing, obsessing over great men you could never live up to. President Trump continued to air his grievances against the late politician publicly. Speaking with reporters at the White House about Sen McCain's, the, McCain's decision to vote against Republican efforts, of the disma to, efforts to dismantle the Affordable Care Act, Trump said he was never a fan of John McCain and I will never be. Trump also retweeted, retweeted another Twitter user's, user who wrote, Millions of Americans truly love President Trump, not McCain. I'm one. We hated McCain for his ties to the Russian desire and his vote against repealing Obamacare. After the View co-host took turns con condemning Trump's statements in a late March episode, Meghan thanked the woman for their support and urged fans to not feel bad for her family and to instead feel bad for people out there but who are being bullied and that don't have support. I'm just surprised because I do think that this is a new bizarre law, she said of the president. My dad's not here but I'm sure as hell here, she said. Michael Wolf made headlines in 2018 with the salacious book detailing the Trump White House where he had spent some time. Earlier this year, his sequel seared 
though no longer based on any White House access, continued to, to cite anonymous sources making startling claims about Trump's behavior. Among them, that the president allegedly became obsessed with Meghan's weight and started calling her donut. About after her father died, Trump also allegedly commented on how she would react when she was when he was mentioned. When she says my name, she and when she says my name, she always looks like she's going to cry. Like a father, very very tough family. Boo hoo, boo hoo. In response to Wall's book, a White House spokesman said M- Michael Wall's first book was destroyed for his countless inaccuracies, made up accounts, and use of shady sources with personal political agendas that even the author himself admitted to. This latest book is just another attempt by Wolf to line his own pockets by pushing lies and pure fantasy, aiming to attacking the president. Meghan has had strong words as well for the president's eldest daughter, Ivanka Trump who is one of her senior aides along with her husband Jared Kushner. She has also rep- reportedly taken issue with Ivanka and Kushner's presence at her father's funeral last year for- from which the president was point- pointedly excluded. No offense, they crashed my dad's funeral, they, they get nothing from me, Megan said on The View earlier this month. Contrary to how she described it, though Ivanka and Kushner were reportedly invited and widow Cindy McCain's permission. They're not good people, Megan said on The View and of Ivanka, she said, I still don't know what she does all day. I know she does women's initiatives, but that's all very nebulous. The White House quickly pushed back. Ivanka is proud of this administration and the work that they have done over the last two and a half years, a spokeswoman told People. Pledges for the creation of millions of training opportunities for American workers and over a billion dollars in funding towards women's economic empowerment in Latin America are anything but nebulous. The idea that the hosts of The View have any factual reads on what goes on within the Trump family is completely asinine, the spokeswoman said. That is it for today's news, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.